Hi, uh, let's look at uh, importing grades to Canvas. Uh, so let's see if we can figure this out. Um, I haven't really done it myself, so I'm kind of be patient with me as uh, I kind of <laughs> go through the steps. So this is like a training course. Uh, basically, what I advise to do uh, is export the gradebook first. So it has the student information there. And then you can sort of add columns with the assignments that you want to put in. Because I think what's where things get stuck is um, like Canvas might not agree with, uh, like if it, the student information is not formatted correctly. Uh, let's see, I don't know. I can't see the, the grade book here. Let me just wait for it to load. All right, actually, this is the master grade book. Uh, let me put it on the other. There's the grade book. Oh, that's still the mastery grade book. There you go. Okay, so here, so I have some students here. All right, big students. Uh, so we want to go to actions and export. Okay, so basically you're exporting these to get the um, Excel sheet in the right format. Okay, so I'm going to open the Excel sheet. All right, so basically we have our columns, the student, their ID, their SS ID, their SS login, uh, and we have like all this information here. So basically you want to have all that in there as standard. You don't want to get rid of it, okay? We have all this, uh, those columns there, all right? Um, and now there's like columns in the gradebook already um basically what i would do is like get rid of all of those and just have add the columns that you want to with the assignments that you want to import okay so let's say the students took an exam on campus exam one and you have you input grades okay so we have possible grades 100 oops and you have grades for all the students. Let's have some grades on here. Let's give them nice grades. All, right, all your students are doing pretty awesome. Okay, so you have this exam. And you can have like more than one. Okay, so you can have more than one column. Maybe, maybe let's have another exam here have exam two also all right i guess you can sort of do this like after each time that they do an assignment or you can do it at the end i recommend that you know you update it often all right so i'm going to save this uh, how do i save this file save file save as let's make it grades and i'm just going to leave it in my downloads okay now let's go to canvas and now we're going to import this okay so here we have you can see that we have our original gradebook with all these assignments here i'm going to import to the cvs file okay and we're going to import the grades and upload the data All right, so assignment in question, so exam one. All right, so you can, you have a choice here, like enter new assignment, ignore it, sample. So it's, you can basically enter it as a new assignment, ignore it, or overwrite one of the existing ones, okay? So new assignment, new assignment, possible points. All right, now we're gonna continue. It kind of shows you a summary of the grades that you have so far all right and oops uh, I'm gonna save changes okay. you will be redirected to grade while your file is being uploaded if you have a large CSV file your change may just take a few minutes okay so um, Confirm the upload. Okay, so okay. All right, so I think we need to wait a little bit. Okay, so let's see 
It wasn't a big file, so let's see. Let's look at the grade book here. There you go. There you go. So here's the two columns in here. All right. Um, why are these missing? I don't know why these are missing. That's a good question. Maybe this, oh, I don't think these are active students. Well, I'm not sure why. Oh, I think so. I think so. I think those are, let me, let me actually, I'm not sure what those are missing. So let's, let, let's, let me look at my people. Test students. Oh yeah, see these students are not active. They didn't actually accept the course. That's why it shows it's blank. It's not because anything went wrong. Um, so yeah, that, that's how you do it. So again, if you are running into problems uploading, it's probably because you don't have the right columns at the beginning. So the workaround for that is to download the gradebook first to make sure that all the information is correct. And then you put your new columns in here with the grades that you want to import and then use the import feature. All right, I hope this helps. If you run into problems, I'm happy to meet you over Zoom and we can work through the steps together. Uh, that would be great. All right, bye.